Hello everyone, my name is Ebalon and welcome to another video of your channel. Actually, in today's video we are going to count down top 15 of 3 to play PC games to play in 2024 and enjoy your life. If you love just this kind of content, you can simply click on subscribe button and ring the notification bell to just get notified for our next video. Or don't, let's dive to the video. Number 15. Neverwinter. Neverwinter comes from a long line of ambitious multiplayer Dungeons and Dragons PC games, including both the original Neverwinter Nights, the first ever MMOs with graphics, and the Bioware game of the same name, Neverwinter. However, is the cheapest yet at attempting zero bucks and benefits from massively multiplayer expertise of City of Heroes Studios Cryptic. Number 14. Star Trek Online Who wouldn't want to take control of a starship, explore the fringes of the galaxy, battle dangerous aliens, and train an elite crew of pangalactic professionals? A Star Trek Online is your chance to show the internet that you'd make a much better Picard than Picard. Number 13. Forge of Empire. If you are aching to hone your management skills while quenching your thirst for historical strategy, then Forge of Empire's browser-based realm building could be right up your street. Beginning with a handful of Stone Age huts and spear-building warriors, you'll lead your small settlement through a range of familiar time periods, conquering, expanding and building your way to a modern metropolis. Number 12. Enlisted. This battlefield skew tactical shooter prides itself on its historical accuracy, providing you with era-appropriate weapons and equipment as you lead your squad of AI soldiers through some of the most famous campaigns of World War II. Number 11. Crossout. Crossout is a vehicle or combat MMO where you craft outlandish cars and drive them into battle alongside other players. Set to a Mad Max style backdrop of post apocalyptic wasteland, there is an emphasis on deep customization, skillful driving, and aiming. Number 10. World of Warships. If you like the idea of an ocean based military simulation game, you need World of Warships, introducing a navy to the concept of deathmatch. The controls are simple and welcoming, but allow for interesting tactics in the submarine game. Number 9. Mesh Arena. Mesh Arena was brought into the world by Polarion, developer behind Raid Shadow Legends. However, there's very little that these two games have in common. Mesh Arena is all about hopping into a mesh suit and then doing battle against other players in their own mesh suits. It's a simple premise, but one that can be an awful lot of fun. Number 8. Sea of Conquest. Sea of Conquest lets you leave out your wild pirate fantasy, and it does it for free. Think Sid Meier's Pirates with a little dash of Fallout Shelter, and you'll just be scratching the surface of what makes the Sea of Conquest so fun to play. Ship to ship combat is frantic, but you'll have to come out on top if you want to be the most infamous pirates who ever sailed the seven seas. Customize your ship, recruit a fearsome crew, and make your mark on the world. Number 7. War Thunder You don't have to find a group of like-minded aviation enthusiasts on the message board and join their virtual squadron to enjoy War Thunder. You don't have to choose between realism or accessibility either. You just download it and then you're flying, driving, shooting and or perhaps even both simulators. Number 6. Star Trek Fleet Command If you ever wanted to try your hand at running a space station, Star Trek Fleet Command is a perfect game for you. Not only can you kit your home base out as you see fit, but you get to construct a fleet of spaceships from a host of fan-favorite Star Trek factions. Not only can you command your own armada of starships, but you can staff them with famous officers from throughout Star Trek history. You could go all the school with Crick and Spock, or if you are more of the next-gen fan, you can have Picard and Riker at their helm. Number 5. World of Tanks One of the mightiest tank games there has ever been, World of Tanks is an accessible and exciting tank simulator built on a foundation of complex game mechanics. It pits two teams of tankers against each other in a classic deathmatch scenario. There are hundreds of vehicles to unlock across 10 different tires, from speedy scouts to hulking heavies. You will be surprised to how many tanks Wargaming has managed to cram in. Number 4. Honkai Star Rail. 
All aboard, Honkai Star Rail is the Hoyoverse's latest interstellar sci-fi adventure. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Like Genshin Impact, the turn based RPG includes an ever-growing roster of electric and colorful characters to pull from Honkai Star Rail banners. Take your favorite into battle against the monstrous armies of the Antimatter Legion. Confront the mysterious stellar hunters and interact with every Honkai Star Rail trash can. We promise. It's worth it. Number 3. AFK Journey. Following in the footsteps of widely popular AFK Arena, AFK Journey revisits the same setting but offers an ever more comprehensive experience. While it can be enjoyed as an idle clicker game, there's also plenty of content for anyone who enjoys a more acting game experience. It's a nice hybrid that caters to gamers of all kinds. Number 2. Genshin Impact. Kinshin Pact has drawn many comparisons to Breath of the Wild, and it's not hard to see why. The open world game is massive and jaw-droppingly beautiful. Still, there's also abundant resources to collect, craft, and cook with, not to mention puzzles and minibuses that can be bested by using elemental powers in the environment rather than starting a brawl. That said, there are plenty of Genshin Impact's weapons and artifacts to get your hands on if character customization is your jam. Number 1. Raid Shadow Legend. You can now play one of the best non-mobile RPG for free on PC. Raid turn-based combat and squad management requires some strategic thinking, even from veterans of the genre. The game features over 300 heroes for you to color, each with its own stats and unique abilities, meaning you'll have to tweak and optimize your squad to make the most of your character's strength. Thank you everyone for watching this episode. My name is Ebolon. If you love this kind of videos, you can simply click on subscribe button and ring the notification bell to just get notified for my next video. My name is Abulan. See you in the next episode. Peace.